Yep, there he is. Oh, and there's an Archibald. Well, it wasn't there as sus suspected. But it's over here, and you can actually see the water lying there. Oh joy. The excavation continues. Let's take the, this unit out. And you can see how wet it is over there. Oh dear. Well, to save getting rid of all the kitchen cabinets, we drilled outside here because the leak was actually just under that way. So we cut the pipe here and cut the pipe inside, fit the new section. So, it's a lot of disruption for one hole. It's snowing in Fertaventura. the martial arts centre just down the road. They often seem to have one of these and we quite like it because they close off the road so it's nice and quiet for us for the afternoon. And the kids enjoy it. Well the honey locust tree in the front garden is looking absolutely gorgeous. Probably the nicest I've seen it. Beautiful yellow flowers, or blossom I suppose you'd call it, as it's a tree. Nicest tree in the garden that is. We don't have that much colour at the moment. The oleander's out in bloom but it always is. And I've just noticed that the elephant's food is also flowering. It's called elephant's food because it's an African plant. Apparently it makes up something like 40% of the African elephant's diet. Yeah, there's an interesting fact for you. Well, the demise of the agave that was flowering, one of my neighbours stopped a while back and said he thought I should chop it down because it was looking pretty precarious. I have to admit it was, but it could have fallen on my car. So I've had to cut it and pull it over the way I wanted it to go. Poor agave. Have to plant something else there now I suppose. Well excuse the scruffy appearance, the unshaven face and what have you. Pretty awful I know. Uh, but I'm doing a job that doesn't exactly require me to be smart. And this is sort of in answer to all those that seem to think that if you live in Fertventura every day is a holiday. Well, it's not. Life takes over. So here we are. Today's job, changing the front brake pads on my new car. Because the old ones are making a hell of a row. They're on, well, the other side, I think, they're nearly down to the metal. This side aren't quite so bad. So, as I say, life takes over here. And at least today it's not very hot, so it's an ideal day to do this. Let's do the other side. Well, it's Sunday evening and we're on another big dog walk. But for a change, we're the first people here. So I've come halfway up the hill. Because the last couple of times I've been last and everybody's been at the top of the hill. So I've had to puff my way up to catch them. Today they're going to have to puff their way up the hill to catch me. But here we are, it's a nice day today. A little bit breezy. But as you can see, somebody's just arrived. Their car's just arrived. They're walking up here with their dogs. There's others to come. Oscar's getting excited already. Jensen isn't because he doesn't. I wonder how many more to come. I think there's about five of us and about 13 dogs. So the best laid plans, as they say, went to pot when we got nearly to the top of the hill. And then Oscar ran down well, three quarters of the way down to be with his friend Tito and come back. So 
so I've just had to go all the way down and then come all the way back up again. Just what I'm trying to avoid. He can be a little bugger sometimes. Oh, we've ended up on the riverbed today. A slightly different walk. Yeah, just a bit of a poser. And Oscar is over there somewhere with his friends. They've just been chasing something. I suppose I'll have to go and find him. What's a beautiful day today. Again. It's been very warm lately. The pool's up to a lovely temperature. And over there, so we're up zooming, seems to have a little... Where's he gone? I can't see him. There he is. A lizard. I have to go and rescue him. Probably go and drop the camera in the water now. Yes, what a nice day. It's always awkward to get to them because you've got to because you can't see from here because of the overhang. I think he's around here somewhere. Yep, there he is. Go on, there's an out you come. See if I can get him over here without him losing his tail. Go on, off you go. <laughs> off you get. He's obviously uh, thankful. He doesn't want to leave me now. Go on, off you get. Over there. There's a good boy. Oh, that's one life saved today. Jensen having a bit of sunshine. Right, back to the job I was doing. Well, I had our annual bonfire last night. The only day we can have it. There was rubbish piled up all over there, all over there, about three piles here, another pile there, and some down here. All the cuttings I've taken over the last two years, because I didn't get to have one last year. And it burnt pretty well, because everything was so dry, but it's now the following morning, and it's still hot. Incredible, really. It doesn't smoulder all day. As long as the police don't consider that to be a bonfire today find me. Anything's possible in this island. So here in our dog walk we are in the middle of nowhere. As you can see there's virtually no vegetation, anything, anywhere. It's absolutely pretty much barren. And then we come across this. An oleander in flower. Wouldn't believe it, would you? How did that get there? And how does it survive? What do you reckon, boys? We've got those in the garden, haven't we? Well, I've just spent two hours in the dentist chair again. Not the most pleasant uh, two hours of my life, I must admit, but there you go. And not even for one of the implants I've had planned. My front crown, which was on a post, um, kept coming out. And it turned out that the root that the post went into had actually broken. So I've just had the root out, an implant put in, lots of other work, stitches and things. And fortunately he's managed to use the old crown by taking the post out and re-drilling it and what have you. So that's probably saved me about 600 euros. And it looks okay, I think. We'll see. Right, I'm in dire need of a coffee. Home. <laughs> What's missing from this picture? It's like midnight. <laughs> Just a little intimate dinner for... ...36, I think. 
Nächste Perfekt. Ja. 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 Ja.